Uh, we're going to look at using go git. And go git is how we actually go get somebody else's code. And uh, I'm giving you a real walkthrough with like the steps you take highlighted, right? So you'll be able to recreate hello world, recreate a repo on GitHub, clone that repo to your desktop, uh, make sure it goes into your workspace in the proper location, you know, and then be able to push from WebStorm straight up to GitHub, right? And then we did all that so that you know, and, and then just checking your commit, make sure, hey, there's my commit, it actually showed up on GitHub. We did all that so that we could get, you know, our workspace configured right. And uh, and sometimes when you first start using WebStorm, it asks you, hey, where's the Go SDK? You just click that little blue link in the top corner there and um, set up SDK and then just click this path and it usually finds it directly for you. So we did all that so that we could use Go Git. Right and and uh, and once I, I have you know um, I had it called GoLang Training, but then I renamed it so I could go get that GoLang Training. When I say go get, it's going to go get code for me. And I could say go get and just give it a location. And it tries to go get the code and it goes and gets it and then it installs it. Right, just checking. <laughs> and uh, haven't you know, I'm like 98% certain on that, so that's why I was checking in. So here would be how I go get the code. I just run that at the terminal. And when I run that, um, you know, it tells me, hey, no buildable Go source files, right? Because it tried to build it and install it, but when I was looking at that, for whatever reason, uh, it didn't see anything in there that was buildable. And, uh, but what it did do is it brought down that folder, uh, Golang Training, and, uh, and then inside that it brought down all of the code. So it also tried to build and install it. I'm not totally sure why firstfile.go didn't get built and installed. It's just a... I guess because it's main, and so it's looking more for things that would be the dot .a, right? Because that's what a package or a library be. It should, it, so, should, it should have the bin, I think. Maybe that's the reason. But hey, that's kind of one of the anomalies. So anyhow, uh, that's, uh, that's go get, and uh, quick presentation. <laughs> Most of that presentation is just like, let me step you through step by step by step the entire thing, and getting one thing set up, and then checking if you could use go get. And, uh, and idiomatic, did we talk about that on Tuesday? So when you're reading the Go doc, sometimes you'll hear idiomatic. And, uh, you know, when I first heard that word, I'm like, what's idiomatic? And, I, and is it like a combination of idiot automatic? <laughs> <laughs> idiot automatic. It's idiomatic. And so I looked it up. And just the English usage of that word is using or containing or denoting expressions that are natural to a native speaker. So basically what it means is like, Hey, what's the natural way that people natively write Go code? You know, what's what's the best way to write Go code? So that's idiomatic when you see that word in the in the Go documentation. So that's like idiomatic Go code is like that's the kind of code you want to write, right? This is the right way to write it, and uh, so that you'll see that in the documentation. So we created a new GitHub repo and then we cloned the repo to the desktop, and uh, we learned what idiomatic is. And when you go through that little tutorial, you'll see there's a Git ignore file, which is a GitHub thing which tells WebStorm to ignore certain files. And I have a bunch of uh, other stuff added in there to ignore all of the WebStorm files. And so there's a slide that shows that. And you can just add those things. And that way, WebStorm's files that it used to run and configure WebStorm and keep track of files or whatever, you aren't loading all that crap up to GitHub every time. And you know it changes all the time. So you wouldn't want to do the track all those changes. So that's a git ignore. Adam, by the way, does not have any config files. So you don't have to worry about it. Uh, you, you can see the Adam WebStorm rivalry continuing. <laughs> Dang, Adam's better in that regard. But, Ad, you know, I mean, it's a huge deal that Adam's made by GitHub. Um, so then we saw Git log at the terminal, or you could take a look at the slide, and uh, we recreated Hello World and we used GoKit. So yeah, that's just the next command. And again, you have some review questions just to sort of help cement and solidify what um, GoGit does. Any questions about GoGit? Anybody want to see a live demo of it randomly? Got it. So uh, this, this presentation packages and docs. Some of the main things you want to get out of this are, um, oh, let me start this anew. I like having a new 